so today's video is going to be another one of my empties video. Ow. <laughs> very heavy bag today. But not only am I going to go through all of the products I've used up recently, I'm also going to show you all the stuff I'm throwing away because I just don't like it. Or not throwing it away, but giving it away to my friends, family. Crap products that just did not work for me. Crappy for me. And you know what? I think I'm going to start with those. However, I first want to mention the sponsor of today's video because this product or this brand is literally the opposite of crappy. This brand is truly amazing. And so I quickly want to say thank you so much to Sempered for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to Sempered for coming into my life because Sempered is literally amazing for a perfume freak like me. As a lot of you guys know, I am constantly buying new perfumes, always testing out the newest fragrance launch. And honestly, Sempered just makes it so easy for you to test out new fragrances without committing to the full bottle. So if you haven't already heard, Sempert is a fragrance monthly subscription service and it's just $17 a month, but you get to try out from a ton of different designer fragrances. There's like some fancy schmancy, expansive perfumes on Sempert. There are some perfumes that I had been dying to try out in the past, but I didn't want to pay for them and I tried them out through Sempert. And it's also helped me discover brands that I've never even heard of or brands I wouldn't normally try myself. For example, I have recently had like these four in rotation. I've been testing these out for the past few weeks. But these three, oh my gosh, I want to talk about these three. First of all, shout out to Sempered for changing their packaging. I much prefer this like magnetic packaging. It's so easy to just pop in here and it's so cute. This honestly looks so beautiful like in your purse. I really, really like this new packaging. So super quick, if you've been wanting to try Sempered, I highly recommend some of these fragrances. If you're feeling a fresh spring sexy romantic vibe, I have really been loving this fragrance. It's called Cassiopeia from the brand Tiziana Terenzi. I can't pronounce anything, but it's a brand I've seen a ton. I just never personally tried any of their fragrances and oh my God, this one in Cassiopeia, Smells like a summer dream. Honestly, you know what it reminds me of? I swear, if you guys smell this, tell me if you agree. This smells like a grown-up version, a grown-up, sexier, way longer-lasting version of Britney Spears' Fantasy or Curious. I'm actually not sure now which one it is. I wore those perfumes in middle school, so it's very far away in my memory, but this reminds me so much of that. Just more intense and sexier. It's so delicious. I'm telling you, like for the spring and summer, oh my gosh, I, I cannot get enough of this one. And then honestly, I wanted to give this perfume a try because it is so beautiful. It looks like a little cupcake. And I thought if I tried it out through Semper and I really liked it, I might buy the full size because it is just darling. But this is from the brand House of Sillage, I believe. And this one is called Whispers of Truth. And this smells so pretty. This smells like a fairy tale. Like truly, if I had to picture what like a romantic spring fairy tale would smell like, it would be this. And then if you're feeling fruity and fun, I also highly recommend the fragrance Ash by Ashley Benson. Also another brand I've never heard of, but this smells I have too much perfume on, but this smells so fruity and sweet and delicious. Oh my gosh, such a fun scent. I truly love discovering these brands through Sempered. It's definitely opened the doors to my fragrance world, like open more doors. If you wanna check them out, make sure to use my code because you do save some money with my code. I'm gonna leave the link down below, but you get 55% off your first month when you use my code, which means it's only $8, $8 your first month, month, which is insane. So yeah, check out Sempered. You honestly cannot beat it if you are a perfume lover like me. So yeah, thanks Ember. I love you. Okay, let's talk about things I don't love. Nice little segue. I swear I'm just gonna try to roll through these products because it is a lot. There, there's a lot. This one hurts my soul so much because Drew Barrymore is like one of my favorite people in the entire world. I just go on her TikTok just to feel happy sometimes. I love Drew Barrymore that much. However, this Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter, it's bad. This made me look like I had alligator skin. It, it's the kind of highlight that dries really quickly and doesn't stay like not even a little bit tacky, not even a little bit glossy or glowy. Imagine just like a liquid highlight, like a metallic -y liquid highlight that dries matte but it's metallic. That is pretty much the <laughs> formula of this Flower Beauty product. I honestly thought it was gonna be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlight wands. I was so excited to do like a whole dupe video, but oh my gosh, no. This formula is no bueno. I really hope they update the formula because I love the idea of having a Charlotte Tilbury dupe out there, but it's just a bad formula. It is not flattering. I think it would look good on like a 15 year old that has like perfect, 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 perfect skin and not a single bump or texture because it emphasizes. Okay, I got 
talk about this. I am not the only one that sees this brand all over my TikTok. Like every person on the planet uses this. Okay, this is the Bloom Greens and Superfood. You know, like you, you see everybody in their little cups in the morning on TikTok. Like don't, don't pretend that there's not at least five people you follow that uses this every morning. And honestly, that's why I bought it. That's why I bought it because I needed a superfoods, like a greens thing. I think these things are super beneficial and super amazing and my ass needs to drink this. However, I was doing my research. I was doing my research on this Bloom one and let me just say, I love the Bloom pre-workout. I do like this brand a lot. Their pre-workout is awesome. There's some other thing I like from them that's really good. And this flavor is delicious. Like I really, really like this superfoods green thing. I saw some TikTok video that said that there's like not enough in this one specifically like there's not enough power in these super greens in this one specifically to really give you what your body needs so i use a different brand now i'm gonna put a picture of it right here and not gonna lie i can tell this one is more intense because the flavor it's not good <laughs> like i have to hold my nose to drink it but I drink it for the benefits, not for the taste. I honestly am just mentioning this one because this is not a crap product that I hate. I use, I drank it all and I enjoyed it. But apparently, supposedly, it's not doing what everybody thinks it's doing. And I'd love to know your thoughts on it. That's honestly why I included it in this, vi in this video mainly, just to hear how you feel about it. Leave me your thoughts below. Oh my God. I am so upset about this and I didn't leave this open, okay? I think it has to do with the packaging. This is the Rose Ink cream bronzer in kawaii i love this bronzer this bronzer is so creamy so delicious so beautiful the first three times i used it and then it dried up and now it's hard as a rock you can tell i only used it like three times it's so hard it's so hard i haven't had this for that long i can't get any pigment off of this cream bronzer, bro. And I have other cream bronzers in my collection that I've had longer and are still creamy, still usable, still workable. I went to use this the other day and I had to like put it to the side and bust out my NARS one. Oh no, I used my Refi one. I like that one a lot too. But this, I liked the formula, especially the first time I used it. I was really feeling it, super excited. I have a lot of makeup so I don't use everything like that often, but I went to use it. I put it in my rotation, hard as a rock. I'm getting rid of that. Basura. What is this? What is this? This is the NYX, um, the brow glue in medium brown. Yeah, no. This is not brow glue. I don't know who told NYX this was brow glue. <laughs> this is snot. It's like I mixed brown pigment with snot and put it in this and then used it on my brows. Imagine boogers. Actually, boogers might hold your brow hairs in place better than this because boogers harden, right? You know? It's giving nothing. It's giving barely there. It's giving what? Where's the product? Hard pass, NYX. I love you, but hard pass. Hard pass on this as well. This is usable though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine because I have a thousand lip liners and I'm just never gonna reach for this. I'm never gonna reach for this. Even though the product is really nice, the color is pretty, I just, I don't like the function. Oh my God, what in God's name? Okay, I'm not gonna give it to my friend. It seems to be growing something at the end of the tip. That's what she said, NYX. I hope that's not what she said. Oh, it's not growing anything. Okay, no. It's not growing anything. It just like had this like gray film on it, but if I rub it, the gray film goes away. Okay, whatever. This is the Gwen Stefani lip liner. Pout to gel re- no. Pout to get real. I can't read. Gel. It says get. And it's in the shade. Do whatever. And I don't like the shape. I don't like the shape. It's this weird shape and I don't like it. And for that reason, I never, ever, ever grab it. Because honestly, the first time I used it, I was just like, what's going on? I'm gonna insert a clip. I didn't enjoy it, so I just don't like it. Speaking of another thing that I just did not enjoy, I just simply don't like. I don't hate it, but I'm never gonna reach for this, so I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine. This is the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint Light Coverage. Light Coverage, no coverage. <laughs> Nada. It feels like you just blended water onto your face and maybe that's what they were going for Maybe that's the vibe to just have like a, a glow like just a soft glow But if that's the case you better put some SPF in this this better have SPF 30 at least to be this sheer of a tint Like for the price for what it gives me. I just don't think it's worth it It's not my favorite and I'm definitely never gonna reach for it and for that reason I'm gonna pass it along. I feel similar to the NYX where I'm like it's giving Nothing <laughs> I really really like Priyanka 
Chopra, I can never say her last name right. And I know that she is like at least the face of this Anomaly brand. And this brand is really, really affordable. They have it at CVS or Walgreens. And this is their dry shampoo. Oh my God, it took 78 hours to take the white cast out of my hair. And then when I did, it, nothing. Lifeless, it didn't absorb. Like my hair still looked dirty by the time that I was done aggressively shaking this out of my hair. Not my favorite dry shampoo. I will not be using it again. I'm gonna give it to my mom. <laughs> okay, that was everything that I'm like, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm just gonna pass it on. The rest of these I have totally used up. Let's get into it. I'm gonna zoom through these. Oh my gosh. I loved this. I loved this. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is from the brand Fleur. They have a bunch of fragrances and now hand creams and body washes and stuff. And this is their Somebody Wood body wash. While I don't love the Somebody Wood perfume because it doesn't last long on my skin at all, I love the scent. Don't get me wrong. Let me backtrack here for a second. I love the scent. This Somebody Wood scent. It's so sexy. It is the epitome of sexy. Sexy in a body wash. You wanna feel sexy in your shower? Oh my God. Get somebody wood. I know what I'm telling you. The perfume just doesn't really last on my skin. I'll spray it and then like an hour later it's gone, which I hate, but the scent is so nice. The body wash, however, I feel like my I still smell sexy and delicious even when I get out of the body wash, out of the shower, which I love. And it's also a really hydrating body wash. Your skin feels super silky. It's like soapy. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot. And if it wasn't because I have a million other body washes, I would go and repurchase this right now or buy it because it was sent to me, but I would definitely buy it. More body wash, Native Baked by Melissa Ginger Lemonade Cupcake Body Wash. This was so delicious, so good. I love lemon, I love ginger, I love it all. So shout out, I love, I love the Native body washes as well because they're also really, really soapy and they leave you feeling super, super clean. I went through the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I love all things. First Aid Beauty, they're one of my favorite skincare brands. And even though my skin is super, super dry and prefers something a little bit more hydrating, I still really like um, their face cleanser. I feel like it gets off all of my makeup, it cleans my face really well, and it's really gentle on my skin. All of the First Aid Beauty products work so well with my skin, so. Shut up, Fab. Okay, let's go into shampoos. I have a few to talk about. Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. I love Briogeo. All of their products are made with love and amazingness. The owner of Briogeo is super cool. I love her so much. We have the same birthday. And I just love the brand. I really, really do. A lot of their products work really well with my hair. I really, really love this shampoo. It's not my favorite shampoo ever. I definitely have other things from Briogeo that I prefer, like their leave-in treatment and their like scalp scrubber shampoo, their hair mask, so many things from them that I love a little bit more than this, but this is still a really good shampoo and I love that it has a pump. I love me a shampoo with a pump. <gasps> Speaking of which, this is so good. Did I not finish the conditioner? No, I think I'm still working on the conditioner. No, this is the conditioner. What? Oh no, I'm still working on the shampoo. Okay, I'm going into conditioner now. <laughs> this is the Bondi Boost HG Holy Grail Conditioner. And I really, really like this. This has a very, very minty, tingling sensation when you apply it. It reminds me so much of that Wen shampoo. Was that the... Was that the name of that shampoo? Do you remember back in the day, like 10 years ago, Alyssa Milano was on that like, when? Was it Ren? When? That shampoo that was like green and her hair was like super voluminous and it would like get you like at three in the morning and I was like, I need to have that freaking shampoo. So I bought it and it's like this like minty shampoo and it was supposed to be like a two in one, like a shampoo and conditioner. Never trust those. Never trust those. This feels just like that. I loved the tingliness of that shampoo. This feels just like that. And honestly, it makes my hair so, so soft. I really, really enjoyed this conditioner. Love that it has a pump. However, mine fell in the shower. And so I started using it out of the ass because it broke. <laughs> oh my God, the Curl Smith Curl Strength Shampoo is also really, really good. Another brand that's a holy grail for me. If you're on a curly girl journey, you are going to love Curl Smith. I literally love all of their products. I love their natural ingredients. It always makes my hair look, feel, smell good. Love me some Curl Smith, and I really, really do like their Core Strength Shampoo. It makes your hair like nice and strong, gives you strong strands, and I felt like it did that. Might be a placebo effect, but I really like this. <laughs> I went through the Native Moisturizing Shampoo and Moisturizing Conditioner in the scent Coconut and Vanilla. I love this scent from Native. It's my favorite scent they have, and I really, really liked this a lot. These were. Super soapy, yet sulfate free. Really, really moisturizing. I really enjoyed these and I love, again, 
that they hit me with a pump. Okay, let's talk about some candles. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I go through a million, but I just want to mention a couple of them. <laughs> so, Waycart did a collab with the twins, Vanessa and Veronica, I believe, on YouTube. They were in Jane the Virgin, and they're super, super cute. They have black hair. I don't know if you follow them, but anyway, Waycart did a collab with them on these delicious little candles. Bamboo Rain and Mango Skies, and I really, really liked them. They smelled so, so good, especially Mango Skies. Oh my god. I Delicious. I went through 18 left on reds from Forever Mood. You can get these on Sephora, but they're currently sold out. I'm obsessed with this candle. This is my favorite candle to ever exist. I gotta say. It smells. <gasps> oh. <laughs> this smells. <laughs> I could cry. It smells so good. I will forever buy left on red. Forever. Oh my god. A super, super delicious candle that's very, very expensive, but so good. This is the replica lazy Sunday morning candle that Talia got me for Christmas. Oh my gosh. This smells amazing. Probably one of the only replica candles I think is truly worth it. It just makes your whole room smell so cozy. Even if you don't like the lazy Sunday morning perfume, the candle is everything. Absolutely everything. And then I finally went through my very last. What's well, not my very last? That one's my very last. Moss Coffee candle. Oh my gosh. Not to toot my own horn, but gosh, this was a delicious, delicious coffee candle. If I ever smelled one, it smells like fresh espresso. You can't get it anymore, but yeah, it was delicious. And I will not burn that one because it's my last one. It's so good. Okay, last hair thing before we move on to makeup and perfumes. <laughs> I love this dry shampoo, and I specifically always buy the little one so I can throw it in my purse. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. See, this mofo cleans my hair. This soaks up all the oils. This makes my hair feel so fresh. I love this, will forever repurchase. I already have. Oh, I went through the Monday Born The Seven Complete Moisturizer. I really, really loved this. It's one of the few moisturizers that I've used all the way up. I'm all the way up. That wasn't terrible, that, that, forget it. I loved this. <laughs> this made my skin feel so beautiful, bright, smooth. It almost like eliminated my pores. I don't know, it was such a great daily moisturizer. I loved it so much, especially in the nighttime. I always woke up with like beautiful skin. So if I didn't have like a million moisturizers to go through, I would definitely buy this like right now. All right, perfume time. Glossier U, I love this perfume so much. It smells like to me like a romantic fresh shower. <laughs> I always compare it to like a fresh shower because it's like the perfect, out of the shower fragrance. Like the kind of fragrance you can wear every day to the gym, to work. It's not offensive in any way. It's very, very soft, but still like fresh and beautiful. I love this. I have already repurchased. A perfume I used to love back in the day, um, and I still do, it smells really good, but I definitely wouldn't repurchase. I feel like I've outgrown this scent. This is um, Victor and Roth Bon Bon. Bon Bon, Bon Bon. Bon bon. I went through a mission and a half to buy this when I first started my YouTube channel back in the day and I've had it for a million years and it's time to move on. I mean, there's like barely anything left. I definitely used it up all the way, but it lasted a long time. This sucker, I used this until it turned like bright yellow, but it's definitely a really, really intense, sweet scent. Truly like a bonbon, like a like caramelly, sweet, gourmand, intense. And it's not for everybody, but I really, really like sweet scents like this. It's just that this one is like a little bit too repugnante for me now. Black Sugar from Corez. Corez? <laughs> I never know how to pronounce this brand. This perfume was so delicious. I love this so much. I really, really love the packaging on this one as well. This like amber jar is like, reminds me of honey. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, the scent is so good. It really does smell like sugar. There's caramel, amber, vanilla bean, tonka bean. Oh, I smell the tonka bean. There's rose, black sugar. This scent is incredible. I love it, love it, love it so much. I haven't repurchased it, but I definitely want to. I just have so many perfumes, but this is a really good everyday sweet scent as well. It just doesn't last that long. Like I definitely have other scents in my collection that last way longer than this, but I do love the scent. I went through Valentina Donna, born in Roma, okay? I'm so upset about this. This is good. Don't get me wrong, I went through it, I liked it. I loved it, in fact. It's really nice. I really, really enjoyed it, but it's not Valentina Donna. It's not Valentino Donna. It's not the original Donna. The original Donna is one of the best perfumes to ever exist. I don't know why the universe loves to discontinue my favorite perfumes. That's like number four already that they do that to me with. I will never get over it. All these other versions of Donna just don't hold a candle to the original Donna. But I did love Born in Roma. It's good. 
Okay, now some makeup and like two skincare items I forgot to show earlier. I went through the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I feel like I've gone through like three of these already, three or four. This is my favorite primer of all time. Good stuff. Of course, I would repurchase time and time again. I went through this Kimchi Chic Candy Lips Lip Mask. I loved this lip mask. It smells like a dentist's office, but in the best way possible. And I would definitely repurchase. I just haven't yet. It's so, so good. I'm just trying to go through some lip balms that I currently have so that I'm not a hoarder, you know? But I did really like that. I went through a uh, nail maquillage fuck on flawless concealer. Like I cannot get any more out of this. This is like my favorite concealer ever. Love it so much. I'm working on my other ones currently. Oh my gosh, so I'm only getting rid of this because it's super expired, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. And this was my best friend for a long time. When I had the really, really bad like breakout situation on my forehead, I don't even know what that was. I don't know, I don't know what that was. That was like in 2017 or 2018 where my skin just took a nosedive. I don't know if it was all the kombucha I was drinking, but my forehead transformed into like a bumpy, I, I don't even know. Cause it wasn't pimples, it wasn't acne. It was like under the skin. Anyway, this is the only foundation that covered it up and kind of looked decent on my skin. Everything else emphasized those pimples so bad. This shit covered it up lasted all night this is this is the bomb it's too intense for me to wear these days i like a more sheer coverage but oh my gosh was this my ride or die for a minute there all right and then i went through a another another because i've gone through like 17 of these this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream my favorite everyday cream ever i wear it morning and night it's the best perfect for sensitive days like when my skin is reacting to certain makeup products if i break out really bad from something that is truly my go-to and it really does repair my skin <laughs> it's the best and then last but not least i went through an spf this is the peter thomas roth water drench broad spectrum spf 45 hyaluronic acid moisturizer Peter Thomas Roth always gets me with their packaging, like their marketing and stuff is so intense and, and, and amazing and they always get me, they make me buy everything. But yeah, this was really good, I, I used it up all the way, I really really loved it, it was nice and fresh and kind of watery. I do prefer my super goop watery SPF that I've been using recently, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this because the other one is comparable but I like that one more. But this was really good and I did enjoy it while I used it. All right guys, that is it. That is everything that I've used up recently and then some products I'm just going to get rid of. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if there was a product you recently used up that you really, really, really loved or a product that you haven't used up but you hate and you wanna get rid of it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what it is and tell me your thoughts. I wanna read through your comments and get some new suggestions. So yeah, that completes this video, guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.